What's going on there, buddy? Mr. Black and White here, aka Best of Both Worlds. I am joined today with my good old stepson, Mr. Ethan, aka Lil Big Show. We are in the city of West Bend. Yes, sir. We are on our way to the police department, as you can see. See if we could get some footage of their vehicles, maybe see what they're doing on the inside, see if they're violating anybody's rights today. Hopefully we get the same contact we got in Hartford. Hartford wasn't bad. They watched me for about a half an hour and didn't make any kind of contact, didn't engage whatsoever. That was pretty cool. It actually made me go and have to speak to an officer myself just to talk to him a little bit. So let's hope we get the same response from West Bend. Let's hope they don't contact us. Let's hope they don't violate no rights over here. See what we do. We don't want to be messed with. Let's hope they don't mess with us. This is additional city hall parking right here. Let's go up in here for a second. See some of these government vehicles. See if we can get some of these lights in place. LE4 LF. All righty. Make sure we don't do anything that these cops would deem an infraction in any sort of way. Come to the corner here to cross over properly. Look both ways for cars. Up oh, one is coming right now. Let's get this guy going. Looking both ways. We are here at West Bend Police Department. See what we can find here. Think it's open? I don't know. Wash your hands, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, pull to operate. Oh, it's open. We'll come in there later. We'll be in there in a second. Let's go around here. See if we can get any cop cars. See exactly what's happening in West Bend. They don't have anybody here. Would you look at that? No cars here, no cars to go look at. So we'll go inside the police department. Go inside, see what it's like inside there. This is Sunday, so Hence why it looks so dead, I'm guessing. But nonetheless, 
We shall see. What the process in here is. Office records are closed, it says. We got a nice officer here. No, just looking around. Okay. Thank you, I appreciate it. Nice civil officer just came and asked if we needed anything. Excuse me, miss. Yeah. I was wondering if I might be able to trouble you for a complaint form. Uh, we don't have formal forms. We have you meet with an officer in person. Uh, even if my complaint is against a officer of this department? Then you'd have to speak with a supervisor. Do you want me to have someone come out and talk to you? Uh, no, thank you. Not at the moment. That's okay. I won't right now. Thank you, though. I appreciate it. Very nice. Very cordial. I appreciate her for that. We're going to step out here for a second. They don't have complaint forms here in the West Bend Police Department. So, we're going to see what's in the back here. See what we can find in the back. Don't look like any cop cars are anywhere. It'd be nice to try to get one on camera. See what they squad cars look like here in West Bend. This has got to be the back. It's technically the side. Uh, the officer right there came out to see if we need any assistance. They're pretty nice out here in West Bend. The sergeant keeping an eye on us. So we'll keep an eye on him. Make sure he's not out here violating any rights today. Look. Got another cop behind us walking. Not exactly sure what's going on. So, we're gonna walk this way. If you zoom in there, you can see him walking down the street. We didn't ask for any help. Thank you. I'm sorry? What do you mean? People don't normally... What's your name and your badge number, sir? My name is Sergeant Becker. Sergeant Becker. What's your badge number? 1203. 1203. Um, you guys aren't doing anything wrong necessarily. It's okay, odd. so you deemed it odd and suspicious because... In my 10 years here, I've never seen anybody do it. Just wondering. Is this not a First Amendment protected activity? Absolutely, that's why I just stopped to see if you guys needed it. So why is it odd? Because, like I said, in the 10 years I've been here, nobody's ever done it. So because no one ever done it, even though it's a lawful activity. I'm not looking at getting an argument to see if you. No, I'm just trying to understand. See, this is the problem with the disconnect that we have in America nowadays. Okay. I'm just trying to understand you guys are. You can't suspicious and criminalize a First Amendment protected activity. Uh, you didn't try to criminalize it at this moment. No, but it's been happening all over. We are we are lawfully allowed to film a government uh, building. 
it is protected and so what makes it odd and suspicious sir that's all i'm asking I, i've said it's just the first time i've ever seen anybody do it so do you guys need anything from me uh no sir we absolutely do not we are just trying to see the department of west bend's police department with everything going on in the world we just wanted to see what your department was like perfect that's all that's it and that's all so now that you have engaged us and initiated contact i would like to ask you a couple questions if you don't mind sure what are your thoughts on the current divide between citizens and the police that's happening in america don't act like you don't know i'm referring to specifically cops killing african-american citizens what is your thoughts on it you're allowed to have an opinion i just wanted to know your opinion i think the current divide in the country is unfortunate why is it happening you guys have all of the weapons i, I had an answer for that I well really i'll well i'll just your opinion you guys have all of the weapons we or them as citizens who were unarmed what 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 extenuating circumstances could have happened for the use of deadly force in any of those situations and i know you're going to say oh well, i wasn't there and all that but you guys have levels right from initiating con consensual contact all the way down to the uh use of deadly force how does a person unarmed escalate that that level all the way to use of deadly force if a person is unarmed because you guys have all the weapons and you're trained to uh uh numerous body holds numerous uh tactical ways to disarm a, su a subject and you have non-lethal rounds and you have tasers so what extenuating circumstances would there be for an unarmed civilian to be shot and use of deadly force used by a police officer on the unarmed civilian. Are you referring to the Minnesota case? Well, we could talk about the Alex Toledo, Dante Wright. We could talk about, I mean, which which Minnesota case? Right. Dante Wright or Derek you Chauvin? Anything else for me? You won't answer? I'm not gonna get in a- uh, I just asked your opinion and you're, you, I just wanted your opinion on it. If you don't wanna answer, you don't have to. That's My absolutely opinion. your right to plead the fifth. I understand. Okay. Uh, just as long as you guys ain't out here violating anybody's rights. That's all I that's all I care about. Have a pleasant day. You as well. There you have it, guys. A nice, nice little talk with an officer there. Sergeant, shall I say. Oh, and another one came out. Oh, okay. Not exactly sure what's happening here, but they seem pretty interested in cameras. See, you guys failed. You guys failed. You can't criminalize a First Amendment protected activity. You guys were supposed to come out here, ask if I needed assistance, and then go about your merry way once you seen I didn't. You guys failed. That's what we call the walk of shame. Have a good day, guys. <coughs> <clears throat> now just because they did that i am going to walk around a little bit more and see if i can in fact catch any more oh that just leads in the loop to loop so we'll go back this way Officers right there Now they see I'm gonna come walking back this way. So we'll see how they react now They should have just left it alone But they didn't He chose to try to tell me it was suspicious and odd that I was filming at their police station. Nobody's even here, might I point out. Nobody's even here. So, somehow, look, look at this clown over here. Look at this clown across at the corner. Clown. Look at that clown. It's 
Let's make sure they're not out here violating anybody rights today. Now we're gonna cross over, now that I know they're watching us. And we're gonna go take uh, pictures and video of the license plates again. And that's how we're gonna do this. This is all lawful activity. They cannot tell us we cannot do this. All right, guys. Seem like they understand. They're not really looking to come out. Oh, we might have one. We might have one. Let's just keep this rolling a second to see what he does. Let's just keep this rolling a second, see what he does. We might got another one. See the cop turning around, flipping U-turns. He's still right there, guys. We might got one. We might got one. We might got one. You see what this cop is doing? You guys see what this cop is doing? I don't know what he's doing, but he better leave me alone. Oh, and we got another one. We got another one. So we got one right here, and we got one right here. We got two squad cars. Two squad cars. I'm not sure exactly why, but we got two squad cars here. Let's go see what he wants. What's your name and badge number? What's this about? What's your name and badge number? You're working under your official capacity, aren't you? Yep. Aren't you supposed to identify yourself when the civilian asks? Are you not supposed to identify yourself if a citizen asks you? I'm sorry? No, uh, no, you're working under your official capacity, aren't you? Okay, so you are a public servant working for the public, are you not? Are you not supposed to identify yourself? Okay, Daphne 1178. Daphne? Sure, Daphne 1178. Okay, can you spell that then since you won't show me? D O P K E 1178. Okay, may I ask you why you pulled in here? parking lot uh this is public accessible okay. right so i have every right to be publicly in the parking lot sure. and i'm just conducting my first amendment protected activity of recording why are you asking me why i'm here because you pulled in on me okay so what was the reason for you pulling don't aren't you don't you have a, a job i can't park here well is this not a waste of our taxpayer money well i mean you're just sitting here on the job getting paid to do nothing yeah is there no real crime happening in west bend right now so everybody's safe in West Bend. 
just ask if there is no crime and everybody's safe. Sure, there's crime happening. All okay, time. and so instead of you trying to find real crime, you're occupied with sitting here in the parking lot for no reason. For what reason? Do you have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime? Have I asked you anything? No, you didn't even get out the car. So, so why are our taxpayer money um, for a cop just sitting I here? You for your information or anything? Well, I'm not working yeah, under my I, official capacity I for the. I don't have to identify myself. Have you do. You do. Have a good day. You working for the public? You have to identify yourself. I'm not supposed. I don't I have didn't to. Ask you. I know, I didn't ask but you. I asked have you. Good day. You have to identify yourself. That's I, I, why I asked I you, it. and you did. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. This is 1478 E7985. Nothing better to do on a Sunday. This is what we pay them to do. working tax dollars right here guys tax dollars at work just sitting in the parking lot doing absolutely nothing sad sad come back around this side look got one over there You guys failed miserably. Horrible. Horrible job. That's crazy. This is the response we get for simply recording. Recording in public. Hold on, E-Weezy. I'm finna go see if this motherfucking cop gonna talk. Since he called his backup. Got to make sure I cross the right way so they don't try to hit me with an infraction for any reason. Look both ways before you cross the street. Oh, don't run, sir. I'd like to talk to you and get a complaint for him, please. Sergeant, I'd like a complaint for him, please. I'd like to file a complaint, please. Thank you very much. I was trying to get you before you walk back in, that's all. Well, you came out and spoke to me and saw we were doing nothing unlawful. And yet you sent the cop to come and watch us. So you're using our taxpayer dollars to watch citizens who's doing nothing wrong. We're just making sure that you're right to be Do you have reasonable articulable suspicion of a crime? Just making sure you're extra. Do you have a reason? Do you, do, you, do you suspect me not being able to be out here? I don't. I came out here to watch what you were doing. No, exactly, and you brought back up. For what reason? What am I doing that you're so in fear for your safety, Mr. You, Gun and Taser and Badges? Because we don't know what you're doing. What, do you need to know what I'm doing? Am I not a citizen of the United States of America? You don't have to tell me what you're doing, but I'd like to know, but if you don't tell me, that's fine. But why? Why do you guys have the, de the, the, the audacity to deem yourself in such high authority that you have to know everything every citizen is doing? That is not a part of the Constitution. Did you not swear oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States of America? To make sure you're okay out here and make sure none of our vehicles got damaged. And why would why would I damage? Why would I record myself damaging videos? I mean vehicles. So you said you had a complaint. Do you like file a complaint? I go get paperwork for you. What is the reason? I'm, I could talk to you right here, right now. Are you not a sergeant? Nope, I'm a lieutenant. Oh, oh, you're even higher. That's even better. Dude, I, I, am, I am complaining about this conduct that is uh, so unprofessional from the West Bend Police Department. We are doing nothing wrong. We, you guys made contact with us. You see we did nothing wrong. And yet and still you put two squad cars to come and watch us. And you're out here watching us yourself for engaged in First Amendment protected activity. Yep, I'm making sure you you're, can safely exercise your rights. Your safety is not my concern though. Everybody's safety is our concern. That's what we took a note to make sure everybody was safe. But the courts have already upheld that you guys are, don't have to protect the citizens. Remember that guy in Florida who ran away from the school shooting? Yeah, exactly. You guys don't have to protect us. The, the courts have already upheld that. So how are you worried for my safety? I do not want to be harassed by your department. I am out here engaged in lawful activity. You came here to talk to me. No, because of what you did, because of your actions. You sent you sent prowlers with guns to watch me. 
I have, a, I have a reason to know why you did that. I am causing nobody any harm. I didn't even speak to no one except you guys. Okay. So what, what did I do so bad that you deemed necessary to call your backup on me? I didn't call anybody over here. He just said he got a call to come here. He just said he was told to come here by a superior. Okay. I have it on video. Okay. Right, so, did you want five, what's your formal? No, thank you. Five? Nothing at all. Thanks for your help. You're Absolutely no help here at the West Bend Police Department, as you can see. Just got turned down. He don't know what he doing. I think I had enough here. I think I seen enough for the West Bend Police Department. In their complete disregard for our lawful First Amendment protected activity. So, while I'm still standing on one leg, I'm gonna get my punk ass out of here. Let's watch this cop right here. One last second, you see he's right there. Watch me get in my car and he tries to follow me. Just watch. We see you, cop. We see you. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. West Bend Police Department. Treating regular citizens like criminals for engaging in a First Amendment protected activity. How does that work? Stay posted, guys. Until next time, you know I'm going to be there.